Hey guys, Will here, SmashCon 2016. We're here with Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King, how did it go today? And what was the vibe like here at Super SmashCon this year? Uh, I like that they had a Smash Masters tournament, and I won Melee Teams, although I wish, I wish Teams was more of a main event. But uh, I mean, me and Ice did win Teams. We beat PewFat, and we beat Mango S2J. And we, me and Ice have never teamed before, and we were successful. I beat Wizrobe and everybody else in the Smash Masters tournament pretty solidly. Yeah, I think you handled that pretty well. Yeah, and I put, made a pretty good losers run, but then I have the same dilemma versus 8 where I'm using Marf and Cheek the entire day, and I'm not playing Fox at all, let alone versus any puffs, or the character in general. And then I have to use a character that I have like no practice with just for one person, so he's like a... Like, I'm Superman, and he's Krypton, and he's my, and he's literally Kryptonite, except... He, uh, that's a bad example, but... No, you, no, you, you, know, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. He's, yeah. he's a play... He's a head-to-head -head counter. Because if it wasn't for him, uh, or the rather, I should say, if it wasn't for the fact that I have to use my third best character, um, I think if I could, if I was allowed to go all Sheik and Marf throughout a tournament, like successfully, uh, that's when I usually like win or top two. So do you change your character based off of who you're playing, or what character they choose? My weaknesses are Ice Climbers and Jigglypuff. Or Ice Climbers and Ace Box, and that's mainly because my Marf and Sheik are good at everything else except Ice Climbers and Jigglypuff. Yeah. So I'm, I'm able to show more of my real ability in every other matchup, but then I'm in a way I'm handicapped versus Ices and Jigglypuff. Sure. So I don't, I, I'm only at like half my power when I'm fighting those characters. And if you're fighting me for a different character, um, you're, there's the potential to experience what I um, can actually do with the game. So go, going back to the teams, um, this is your first time playing with Ice. Did you have any strategy that you are between the two of you that you guys implemented? Yeah, the biggest thing is he likes to go off and do his own thing, and I had to keep reminding him, dude, just stay with me and we'll, we'll, and two v one people, and we'll, we'll be fine. And that was like there was obviously more details to it than that, but that was like the number one theme by far is basically telling him to play with me instead of in your corner alone. And we ended up being successful on our first tournament ever teaming. Yeah, I thought you guys complimented each other very well. It was great to see you guys take that win. Now, I know you, you placed third here in Melee Finals. Walk us through, was there any people that you were worried about going into the tournament? Did you feel like you were on your game today? I can beat anybody except uh, I have a really bad head-to-head -head versus 8 Sparks. But I can beat the people that can beat him. It's so it depends the order that we fight each other. But since he has like the seating advantage, he al he almost always has it in a way where it's bad for me because I have to like go through somebody like if I beat Mango, then I fight Xbox, probably lose to him, and then I get to press and lose to Mango. Like something like that is very common. Sure. So if if the brackets weren't always him getting a better seed, um, but that's how it, it, it's always going to be. Then. It, Let's say uh, Mango fought eight box and Mango beat him. I have a 50-50 chance versus Mango, dep depending on who's playing better. Since those are, we're both good at the matchups. Yeah. Now I always like to ask. You've done a lot of competitive events. When you hear, like, can you hear the crowd like chanting for you and really getting behind everything that you're doing? Does that affect you at all? I like when people cheer for me, but um, with those headphones, which are super good, I actually can barely hear anything. Like even when they're yelling loud, I can. I can't even tell who they're cheering for. I just hear noise. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even, I can't hear words. You'll love it when you watch it back. I mean, people are really rallying behind you. I always wonder just, does that play any kind of a stress knowing that people are sitting there watching you and you're on this kind of a stage? I mean, I play for myself, but I also play for the people. It's like, it's like half and half. Yeah. It's, it's like half for myself and half for the people. So, I mean, yes. Even though I can't, like, that's my motivation, but like when I'm actually playing with the headphones, I can't tell what they're saying. I just I can just hear noise. Sure. It just comes out as noise, like loud noise or quiet noise. One more question for you. So you were here last year at Super Smash Con. What did you think of this event overall this year? This is good. I just wish there would be pop bonuses and doubles and uh, and brawl. But I mean, me and Armada both agree that teams should start getting like more love, especially now that teams are actually working as a team. Right. It's way more like strategic and skill based and you can re you can really see what the guys are doing and as the game as teams evolves, it's getting more and more based off like teamwork yeah. and uh, it's getting way more like interesting as a spectator sport and to play. So I honestly think that more people should be focusing on doubles and to, to treat it more than just a side event, to be completely honest. Armada 100% agrees with me and he's very passionate about the same thing as I am.
Yeah. Well, you, you look phenomenal out there. I mean, it's really a joy to watch you play, whether it's singles or doubles. Uh, Mewtwo King, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Keep it here on Press Start TV.